It was a group of locals. They were concerned about the rubbish dumping, the car stealing and that sort of thing that was going on in the local area. So they contacted Forrest and they decided that it would be great if we could form some sort of group that could combat that sort of activities that were going on in the place. At roughly about every four or five weeks we have a working bee where we spend a morning, that one Saturday, one Sunday, doing whatever needs to be done in the forest. We build forest trails, we refurbish existing forest trails, and we clear Lantana. We, we've had a, a couple of hundred people over the years that have come along and um, some have uh, come for uh, two or three working bees, some um, are original members of uh, the, the group. Very close to Gosford and, and the CBD of Gosford. A lot of people wouldn't know it's here. It's really a, a hidden gem on the Central Coast that people are only really starting to discover it now. State Forests have been very supportive over the years. They've made sure that we've always had the, the correct tools and whatnot. They have morning tea supplied and people really enjoy the interactivity and the social aspect of those events. They're fun and they're very supportive and I really enjoy returning this bush to how it should be. I didn't know anything about trail building when I started. Uh, it's due to Alf tells us how, how to do things and what to do and we do it. The working side of it, I enjoyed building like blazing new trails. That was a lot of fun, that was new for me. People come to Strickland for various reasons and, and they have various skills and, and strengths that they, they bring, to the, to bring to the group. From the start, a fungi expert was on the working bee and there's a fern expert, there's people who are interested in birds and and I'm just interested in everything, the whole biodiversity of the area and it's such a rich area for that. We upgrade the trail here, um, we also do the lantern on both sides and right down from here, right down to the creek, um, there was lantern everywhere, that's all been cleared out and we've planted it with uh, other species um, to create a canopy and stop the lantern from coming back. Walking through here you'd never actually imagine that there was a creek there, it was just a... <laughs> Uh, pass, pass, passing your way through thick lantana. We try to just utilise what's on site. So if we dig rocks out of the trail, we sort of store them uh, aside and use them in our creek crossing situations. We try and use everything that's on site rather than import stuff in. Um, and I think uh, we've achieved a pretty good result with that. You, you look at the forest trails that we've built, they're easy to get around where it would have been hard if we hadn't have done the work that we did. Now what we're trying to do is create a trail that's wide enough for people to walk easily and without having to look at the ground so that they can observe what's around them, occasionally look for snakes on the ground but otherwise just walk pleasantly along and observe what's around them. Can't ask for a, for a better hobby, work site, uh, pastime if, you, if you've got a a few hours spare every and what a sort of feel good project. Um, people having picnics, exercising their dogs, playing with the kids, it really is a beautiful spot. Once you get to know Strickland, it's a hard place to forget. <laughs>